Hello everyone, welcome to State of the Game for April 19th. Yeah. At least I know the year is 2018. I'm pretty Hello sure everyone. it's... Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Hope you're enjoying 1.8.1. That's the correct title, right? 1.8.1. I thought it was Strawberry. Uh, shut up. Um, <laughs> came out last Thursday. Hope you enjoyed it. The uh, rumors of my death are highly exaggerated. Uh, this week you can spread the rumor about Yannick, though, because he's not here. But he um, was in chat, though, or is that just chat. a Yannick that bot we made? That worries me. Yannick uh, bot. That, that worries me a lot. So, um, just quickly, we had a maintenance today. Uh, we had a small issue where the vendor exotics would still drop in the underground. Uh, that's been fixed with this maintenance, and we also did some uh, back-end stuff, as we always do when we do maintenances. But I am not 100% alone today. As you might have seen on Twitter, we'll actually be talking a bit about the next global event, Blackout. And to help me do that, I have Paul and Jimbo. That's your official name now, James. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. 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 There we go. Hello. Now. Okay. How are you guys doing? Hello. Yeah, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So for the Thanks. people who haven't seen you before, uh, let's do a quick round of presentations. Who are you guys? What do you do? Well, uh, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm a designer. Um, and from where you're working, I can't remember where I work then. We're here. Ubisoft Leamington right there. Uh, in the UK. And we've been working on the division for around about a year or so overall. And um, yeah, today we just want to talk about the next global event and uh, some of the good stuff in 1.81. Should be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Jim or Jimbo or Jimmy or James or, or whatever Petter wants to call me, Jimbo. basically. I'm, I'm, I'm at his disposal. Um, uh, I'm a game designer as well, and I've been working on, um, well, I've been working on the vision with Paul. It's been pretty cool. So Sean MK 1967 says looks hot in Lemmington. You both are wearing shorts. I mean Jimbo, you're wearing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we there we go. There we go. <laughs> Best shot ever on State of the Game. Thank you very much, Jim. Yeah, people are calling them beardtastic. I'd I'd say they might have the best beards. Like Yannick has a strong competitor here. Well, Jim, I think we've already established that Jim has the best beard of everyone that's ever appeared on State of the Game. Yeah. So. That's disappointing. Yes! <laughs> How does it feel though, Jim, to uh, be a meme now? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Of it's, uh, I loved it. I was, um, I was honored. Um, it's, up in, it's up all plastered all over the studio now as well. Um, people have printed out copies of it. Yeah, there's three more over there. Um, no, it feels great. Um, but yeah, weather-wise, it's, it's basically tropical for England right now. So this is probably one of seven good days we'll have in the entire year. Yeah, and instead amazing. of being outside, I, I thought I would, I would come on to stay at the game and hang out with you guys. Yeah, that, that's very cool. We're, we're actually have sun here as well, so I don't, want, I don't really want to be in this room. I want to hang out with you guys, but I don't want to be in this room. We almost had 20 degrees today. Almost had 20 degrees? Almost 20. Oh, I just want to sit outside with a laptop and do state of the game instead. But Oh, yes. It is, it is what it is. So 1.8.1 .1 has been out for a week. You guys worked a lot on it. Uh, how does it feel? How's the reaction been? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I, I talked to a couple of streamers um, and just sort of asked them how the drop rates feel. And, and they say that it's, it's very noticeable, especially when you're in a group of four. Um, they're starting to see a lot more stuff drop. Um, they still haven't completed all of their sets yet, but you know we didn't want to make it overly easy. We just wanted to, you know, sprinkle. I'll do it. I'll do it again. <laughs> sprinkle the the gear around. So um, I think that that's gonna. It's, well, it's just gonna be better. I think new players coming mm -hmm. back, players who have been grinding it out to try and get those sets, are, are going to have an easier time to complete them. And and we hope. Well, that was our goal. We hope that uh, that is accomplished with the changes that we've made. Um, we tried a legendary mission, a new legendary earlier, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Um, yeah, maybe we'll come to that a bit later. Um, but, yeah, so I'm really pleased with the reaction so far to uh, 1.81. Um, again, as Jim said, the extra loot drops are great. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the community's reaction as well to the new global events. Um, and, yeah, it's all good so far. So... It's not talk. No, well, we have to, well, we have to talk about it. So, 
Gus, Gustav's been working very hard on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got. We, go. we couldn't even make it through the front gate. But I mean, I don't have. I'm, I'm pretty terrible at, well, at PVE, especially uh, legendary. And I don't have classified defense, so I was just trying to use regular, and my shield was getting destroyed. I think our biggest failing on it, I mean, my, we were on PC, and my PC build isn't up to quite up to my PS4 build, so that's one excuse. Yeah. Uh, also, Jim wasn't running with support stations, which I think was a bit of a failing on his part. I wanted to pulse. But, you know, I, uh, like to, I like to be a pulse. <laughs> So, so yeah. we got to the first wall, I think. So we didn't do too bad. Yeah, we'll clear that first room out after this, probably. Oh, definitely. Yeah, okay. so it, was, it was Amherst, or yeah, it was Amherst. Amherst. And that's yeah. you know, and I know everyone else is laughing at us in the stream, <laughs> but you know, we we you know we don't have as much time to play as we would like. We're busy working on it, working on it rather than playing it. But we yeah. should have some time um, now to to dive in and, and play the new legendaries. And I'm gonna get in and play some of the global events with people as well. So yeah, I'll be lurking in the shadows. Sounds good. Definitely. So I know a lot of people are here for uh, Blackout, of course, to hear more about it. And I think that for the people who are here for mostly the news, I figured that we'd straight away actually jump in and say, when is the starting day? When does Blackout start? Well, it's Monday. Monday. The 23rd, 23rd of April. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's going to run for seven days. We think it starts at noon UTC, but we didn't verify that information, so I'm sure you can correct that and get it out to them. But, um, yeah, coming next yeah, so Monday. Monday's a big day. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, it's going to be shocking. Uh, <laughs> oh. Static. Yeah. Oh, my God. You actually... Jim actually promised me yesterday that he was going to do a lot of electricity puns today. So I'm what? kind of, I'm kind what? of. What? what? I'm positive we won't do that. Oh my God. Negative Ramos. <laughs> you, get, you guys rehearsed this, didn't you? No. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're just trying to plug a few of them in early so that uh, yeah, as we get going, yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll keep we'll uh, try and we'll try and keep the electricity high. electricity in the room. Yeah, this it's is getting good. this is getting terrible. Let's should we start yeah, energy good? It's good energy. Should we talk about the global event? <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh my god, you can't see my tears right now. Uh, <laughs> So to also, uh, we ran Blackout on the uh, PTS for 1.8.1. But one thing that's always blurred out on the PTS uh, is the masks. Yeah. And uh, we thought we'd actually share a picture of them today. Let's see. Cool. There we cool. go. Have you, got, have you got it up? We got it up. So you've got Vulcan, which is the, the fiery sort of, uh, what is that, a reed breather? I don't know. Fiery um, gas mask. And then we've got Tau, which is a, a sort of panda panda mask. And then we've got Rictus, which is the crazy teeth um, mask, which I, I think. That one's my favorite of the three. They're all awesome. But uh, yeah, there's the masks. Get in global events, do all the uh, commendations, and get them. I look forward to seeing people wearing them in the game, running missions, and. Uh, so it's not a bunny suit, but it's a panda mask. I mean, it's that's a panda mask. pretty it's good, right? Yeah, I, I love the panda masks. That, that's my absolute favorite. I, I always miss my sunglasses whenever I wear the, the mask, so I tend to take them off again after, after a couple of missions. But this one, I'll be wearing it proudly once I get it. Nice. Very nice, really. So, so blackout yeah. in general. What what was the oh, overall concept of blackout when you were uh, when you were designing it? So we wanted to change up the gameplay. Um, we wanted to give the player a bit more power, um, but we wanted them to uh, use it responsibly. Oh, so with yes. that power comes great responsibility. Um, <laughs> but we also wanted to add a tactical element to that as well. So we kind of dug down into the underground. 
and um, we basically brought up shock ammo. So we're going to give the player permanent shock ammo. And um, the tactical side of that is they'll have a shock bar, which if they use it too much, additional that's hostiles. That's what part. So it's it's kind of all about um, it's about crowd control. It's just about control in general, as Paul mentioned with having great power comes great responsibility. You've got this meter that's filling up. As it fills up, you're doing more damage. You're 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 shocking more people. But if you go into the danger zone, you can shock yourself. And now the difference between uh, the tech that after it's come out of the underground is you can also shock your your allies as well if they're too close. So the kind of cool way to do it is you have a couple guys sort of CCing everybody, making them do the chicken dance, and then you have other guys running around filling their charge meters up. And one thing I don't think people quite uh, understood fully in the PTS was running will not cause your bar cause you to overcharge. You can run and just fill that bar up and kind of keep it in the red zone. And um, and we've we've added a, a very destructive shock melee now which is really awesome and, and we felt that the melee was underutilized so we wanted to try and highlight that and make that a bit more of a viable well it's 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 very yeah, viable yeah, in this, in this good, global uh, event so um yeah we wanted to see people shock melee and the crap out of people basically yeah we wanted to change up the whole game plan we wanted to make melee fun we wanted to uh, give it a new kind of purpose and retool it so um it was really good to uh to see people using that uh, shock melee, that'll be really great to see when the GE goes live. So. It'll be, yeah, it'll be uh, electrifying. It'll be electrifying, I'm sure. I'm, I'm <laughs> certain of that. I'm crying <laughs> again. Um, we uh, did show some some gameplay uh, right now uh, during while you guys were talking. I just want to point out a couple of things. Somebody was complaining about the aim. Uh, if you looked at it, you might also have noticed that the fact that the the agent did not take any damage, so that was actually a development build. So they were shooting. I hope they were shooting cool. at the ground to build the meter. And that's, yes, that's, so it. that's one way of building the meter is to move and shoot. So the aim of that particular piece of gameplay, the player was basically moving and shooting to build it up as quick as possible to so then be able to use the shock melee. Also, it was Scott. Scott's terrible at the game, so I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that he was actually just trying to shoot something, but shooting the ground. Like, he's really bad at the game. But he designed all the UI. Well, part of he, he worked on the UI, so he's, he's, you know, he's good at some things, but he's just, generally, Scott Smith is known as the worst gamer at Ubisoft Mountain. Oh, with that, Dan. Yeah. yeah, so that's probably why that was happening. Okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Good thing he had God Mode on, then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he needs it. All right, so let, let's quickly just run through the actual blackout modifiers there. As usual, there are three of them. Um, what, what do they actually do? Like, if we go through them from top to bottom. Okay, so with Blackout, uh, the global modifier, this gives you your shock ammo bar and shock ammo. Um, and when you're in combat, you'll increase that bar. You won't actually get shocked until you use one of the modifiers on that. So the second one, which is extreme Blackout. Yeah, so the difference here is that we've added the overcharge ability to um, it's extreme. Is it extreme? The second one? Extreme blackout. Extreme blackout. Yeah. And so now when you get into, when you fill that bar up all the way, you will, your, your gun basically overloads and you shock yourself. And the charge is so strong that it can jump to nearby allies. There is a bar that runs between um, connected allies. So you can tell if you're connected to somebody else. So you need to be really careful to make sure you don't shock your teammates. Um, so that's the risk element of it. The reward for this is, once you fill your bar up into the Additional top 20%, you can perform a melee on somebody and it will basically stop their heart and send them flying. I suggest doing it to enemies that are standing on top of things. It just looks fucking spectacular. I can, I swear, can I swear on here? Yeah, yeah Sorry. Yeah, sure. We do Sweet. Um, so yeah, try and do it to people on top of cars. And then total blackout is uh, the same. It's got everything from the first two. Plus, we've added a quicker cooldown to that bar when you're standing close to allies. And um, it's to, to basically make it so you can shoot a little bit more frequently um, and your bar cools down a lot quicker. But it's also just secretly I want to, because you have to be close to your allies to get this bonus. So I want you to be close to your allies. But if you're too close to your allies, you could still end up shocking them. So 
you know, a little bit of that risk reward thing yeah. again in with that one. So. Yeah. We just want to keep the player on their toes, give them these powerful things, but they've got to kind of use them carefully and strategically. So that's what we're hoping for. So, yeah, positioning is going to be very important on the final modifier for that one. Right. Yeah, we're, we're looking at the uh, footage again, showing the same videos. Uh, the, the melee just looks hilarious and awesome. Oh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing some really good gameplay videos of people like just meleeing the hell out of other crews and stuff. It should be great. Yeah, how, how satisfying is it on a scale of from 1 to 10? How satisfying is it to set up one of those melee attacks? Oh, I'd say it's 11. Oh, it's definitely 11. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 11. You're, you're overcharged. It's just Additional yeah. hostile. pretty good. You get, when you get into a nice rhythm where You've got, like I said, two guys in the back, probably your ARs and your MMRs, tagging people, getting them to, to shake, while your other tanks are sort of running in. Because you can perform the melee with your shield as well. So you have your tanks up front. Once somebody stats still shaking, you fill up your charge bar, smash them, they go flying. And it works for tanks, it works for, for snipers. Um, you can't do it to bosses, but you can do it to, to virtually every other enemy in the game. Um, yeah, we didn't want to make it too easy for bosses, but it'll still do a little extra damage, but it won't like, one-shot kill them now at all. Right. No, that, no um, that makes perfect sense. So I guess I could talk about... So the sets that are going to be available for this, um, for Blackout, are going to be Defense, um, Deadeye, Tacticians, and Strikers. Strikers. So you can work on completing those sets. We've got, um, as people in the PTS... No, and I think you guys mentioned last week, we've also got those new caches. So we've gotten rid of the standard global event cache. You can still buy the superiors if you want to take a gamble, but you can also buy a, a specific set cache that's going to guarantee you one piece from that set. So yeah. we're really hoping that this event is going to help some people close out um, at least their defense tacticians, dead eyes, and strikers. Um, yeah, and then uh, what missions have we got? Uh, so the missions uh, currently, we've got Hudson, Refugee. Uh, we've got the General Assembly, which I know a lot of people in the community are quite excited about, so that's a really good fit for this one, I think. Uh, we've got Lincoln Tunnel, uh, Times Square, and uh, the uh, incursion is Falcon Lost. So uh, we're hoping people will have a lot of fun on those and get all their GE credits and, uh, and start getting those classified sets. Just shock everything. No, oh, yeah. Uh, an electric time. We've said electric like 17 times already, I think, but that's okay. all right. So don't, don't say it again. Okay, I won't. Cool. No, I, I'm really looking forward to it. Just to reiterate as well, uh, two things for people who just uh, showed up. Uh, when is Blackout starting? Just to, to repeat that. Monday, April 23rd, uh, running for seven days. We believe it starts at 12... Uh, UTC, 12 noon, um, but you're going to verify that for us as yes. we don't actually know, um, but it will at least be on that day for sure. Yeah, definitely. And we, I, I think we should show the masks again uh, real quick. There we go. Again, Panda Mask. I love it so much. Yeah, that sounds yeah. awesome. Somebody's asking, awesome. Somebody, Harold Carl is asking to turn up my mic a little bit. I mean, it's basically as high as it gets now, so... Okay, please buff my mic, Pila says. It seems to be something. Maybe, it, maybe it's on my side. I'll move it closer to my mouth. Maybe, hopefully... Let's put it inside your mouth. I can put it inside my mouth, but it's going to be, gonna be really awkward. Um, and a lot of drool, probably. Oh, man. <laughs> well, yeah, less drool than you, when you did the nice post before. Oh, yes. All right, so just to now, the, the, the big thing, of course, being blackout on Monday. But I, I want to do a quick shout out to the next global event as well that people can expect in, in May, uh, Onslaught. Can you just do a quick pitch for Onslaught? What's that going to be like? Yeah, so Onslaught is, um, we've equipped all of the, we've equipped you with basically three different types of uh, very powerful ammunition. Um, you're, it's on a, it's on a rotation, so you don't necessarily get to control which one you have exactly when, but if you, if you re simply reload your weapon, it'll switch to the next type of ammunition. Um, that's for the basic global. For the next two, um, 
enemies will be resistant to two different types of ammunition and only be basically susceptible to one of them. So it's going to be, this one's really about teamwork and communication. Um, as well, the enemies do a lot more damage to you if you're, if you're not using the right type of ammunition on them. So if I'm shooting a dude that requires me to use my uh, gas bullets and there's a non-gas guy over here, he's going to be doing a lot of damage to me. And if that guy's a rusher, you're, you're in some serious trouble. So this one's going to take a lot of coordination, a lot of teamwork. Um, unfortunately, the, the group, the, the, the final bonus isn't going to apply to uh, solo players, but you'll be rewarded with a, an extremely powerful type of ammunition that is, it's basically a smart am ammo that detects what the enemy is weak to and will apply that status effect to them. Um, so yeah, pretty much it's about teamwork. It's about using, staying in cover. It's about um, just communication, communication, communication. Yeah. yeah. We wanted to add a game. We wanted to add a tactical element to it. So, um, you know, when you're in a group, this works better, as Jim said, because you can have people with different ammunitions ready for different enemies as they, you know, they, as they come in the room and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And there's not, you know, the, the patterns are still the same in the missions, but what weakness the enemy has is going to change every time you run a mission. Yeah. So you, you won't be able to just wait at a doorway with the right type of ammunition. You'll have to uh, sort of go, you'll, you'll have to figure it out on the fly. Um, so we, we hope that that adds a little extra challenge for everybody. And, and we're really interested to see how everybody feels about that one. All right. That's going to be going to be super awesome as well. I, thank you very much, guys, for coming here today. Uh, to talk about and give us more information about Blackout and of course the starting date which is on Monday if anyone came in during the last three minutes or so. Uh, that's uh, it for, for news so to speak. Uh, we're going to move on and actually uh, make sure that to share some community creations with you as well. We, I'd love for you guys to stick around and give your comments as well. That's good? Sure. Totally. That's fantastic. So we're going to jump straight into it uh, with one thing that's been going, it's still going, which is awesome. And obviously, we're going to st keep sh uh, sharing this stuff with, uh, with you guys because we think it's awesome, is the emoji agent uh, challenge, where you're supposed to take a picture of yourself doing an emote uh, from the game together with, preferably together, with a screenshot of your agent or with the agent in the background of, of the photo. It's been going for a while now. Once you take the picture, challenge other players and just keep that amazing thing rolling. So the first picture we have today is from a community member and friend of the show, Bon Diesel, who made this one. Is that a sneeze? Guys, is that a sneeze emote or a dab emote? Well, I think, yeah, it's, a I think, emote, I think. I think it's a dab emote. But Von Diesel looks—he looks a bit. He looks like he's sneezing a little bit. I think. I would have liked to see his head go down a little bit further. The, yeah. the the right arm needs a little bit more of a bend to it. But I think I give it a I give it a solid seven and a half. Yeah. Seven and a half. That's that's still good. That's still really good. It's good. Yeah, it's really good. I wouldn't be that kind, but I'd let you go with it. Oh, oh man. I really do love how he's in cosplay though with the uh, with the helmet in quotation marks. That's really that's really good. Going that extra mile, mile bond. That's fantastic. Yep, very good bond. The next one we had talked about this one uh, when we were setting up, and it's an amazing one from CF Gamble. I'm gonna jump to that one. Yeah. It's this is so good. This yeah, one's I mean, our favorite. Um, we like the attention to detail in terms of getting the backdrop in as well. So he's got like, the bookcase there. He went out and bought all those books just to take this photograph. That's the kind of commitment we're after, yeah. really. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, it's a great pose, and he's got the outfit. I think is that well. a is it's, that a he's used he's used a paper clip as a tie tack, which is that's that's invented. ingenious. That's ingenious. Yeah, that's a good that's a good picture. Yeah, I like we like that one. I give that. I mean, that's easily nine. Is it at a ten? Might be. Might be a ten. Wow. That might be a ten. Nine point five. Uh, Paul's just <laughs> here to keep the average down. I guess. Jeez. Uh, if you follow the link that the mods are um, putting in chat right now, 
Uh, I, I heartily recommend it. There's actually two more pictures there that you can look at. That's also also fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, very good. So make sure to to check that out. Uh, the next picture we have is from Bicycle of Death. It's a very metal picture. It's super metal. It's super metal. <laughs> yeah. He's added his own fire in as well. Um, really good. Menacing. Yeah. Terrifying. It, it, it did worry me, this one, to be honest. Yeah. The production value is very in good. High. In a good way. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very nicely put together. Um, and I think he's got, he's got the pose down as well. It's, yeah. Uh, the angles of the finger are, are great. Yeah. He's got the gun and everything. He does have a gun. Triangle well, on the hat. Everything is kind of down to. Yeah, I've not noticed that, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. So, what yeah. do you give this one? I give this one a nine. Uh, I wouldn't go that high, but it's not as good as the last one. I but think it's metal out of ten. Metal out of ten. I'm oh, definitely yeah. that. Yeah, I'll definitely go along with that. <laughs> and yes, I turn into Pro Yared Place for people who know who that is. Um, so, the next two ones are kind of special. Uh, because, yeah, last week, Frederick, we did ours, me and Yannick. Uh, that is like the best one ever. That's, no. that's 10 out of 10. And then Frederick did his last week, which actually had a it's, golf club in it. It's the best one ever. It's actually a really good one. It Props. is. It's almost good. Props. I saw that thing. It's not really as good as our uh, cosplay, but fine, sure. Huh? It was really good, Frederick. Thank you, thank you. And of course, we have more from the developers. This next one comes from a programmer at Uplay, an awesome guy in general, Olaf, who's waving. I mean, it's, it's a very easy emote to do. <laughs> <laughs> but he does it really yeah. well. Standard, it's a standard it's sort easy, of emote. But he does it well. um, pulls it off well, it has a fantastic beard. Fantastic beard. He does. Not yep. really as good as yours, but... No, I mean, that's pretty... But I didn't have a hat that said pizza. It's much more manicured, <laughs> I will say. Mine's just wild. It just exploded. Yeah. Uh, KCG Twitch asked in chat right now if we're going to keep doing emoji agents during State of the Game, and I see no reason to stop while the amazing pictures <laughs> keep coming in, to be honest. Uh, we'll have some, some other stuff for you as well, but right now, emoji agent is going strong, so... What did we give Oliver? Uh, C++ plus plus out of 10 or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I think probably that. C++, yeah, plus plus yeah, yeah, C++, C++ plus plus out of 10. C++ out of 10, that's good. Yeah, that's a good score. I think everyone can. Windows 10 out of 10. <laughs> Windows 10 out of 10, yeah. And then the next one, and this is probably, I have to say this is one of the most awesome ones. It also comes from one of the developers here, uh, mainly known as Dynasty. Uh, in chat and on, on Twitch and, and Twitter. Uh, environmental artist here at Massive. He's re he really went full out. Mm. Just look at him. Just look at, at the skill. It's impressive. It's an amazing picture. I mean, the, the athleticism yeah. is quite incredible. Very good. Yeah. Very if, good. If you've ever met him, you know that those his, his legs are like tree trunks. <laughs> it's amazing how the hood on his, his top is just defying gravity as well. I think well. it's almost the velocity. Yeah, it's of, amazing. He must, be, he must be flipping very fast. Incredibly fast. Very fast. Yeah, we can yeah. see the speed there on his shoes as well. It's just... Yeah. Yeah. That guy it's never still... stops. He just keeps going. <laughs> He's still flipping. Oh, yeah. He usually... We usually see him at the office flipping down the stairs. <laughs> just <laughs> cartwheeling down the hallways. Yes. Oh, he, it's, an, it's an amazing, amazing photograph. Uh, uh, thank you, Dynasty, for really going, going that extra mile. I give it a 3D Max out of 10. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's a, well, that's a good score. Jump. Good score. He'll yeah. be, be yeah. happy about that one. <laughs> uh, the next one is actually not a, an emoji agent, but I, we just had to have this on because it, we, we've been sharing things from Goose Cosplay and Mini Kenga 111 before, but. Uh, Mini Kanga posted this picture on on Twitter a couple of days ago, and it's just come on. It's really good. It's yeah. very, very, very impressive. It is amazing. I, thought, I almost thought it was a shot from the game when I first kind of caught a glance of it, but then obviously when you look at it, it's just a brilliant bit of cosplay. So. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. 
And it has a rope tool and everything around her neck, uh, which I think is actually custom made. I think if I understood it correctly, it, it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's 3D printed, uh, but yeah, painted and everything, it's just, it's amazing. Well, yeah, the tactical knee pads as well look good. Is that a G36? Yeah, it looks like it. It's awesome. Really, really impressive. I don't know, I don't know, guns. It might be a G36, I think. Someone in chat probably knows. Yeah, yeah. probably. Probably. No, the, the, they are they are freaking uh, amazing, and we, we absolutely adore their stuff. There's a lot of good cosplay actually coming out of Russia right now, which is just so, so fun to see. So they really go the extra mile. Uh, check them out on, on Twitter, though, because there's a lot of, they do uh, a lot of cool photo shoots that I think everybody should should take a look at. So go go follow Minikanga111 on Twitter and make sure to catch all their stuff. All right, guys, uh, we're reaching the end of State of the Game. It's actually, wow, it's 5.30, so great timing. Um, but let's reiterate one more time. When does Blackout start? It starts on Monday, the uh, 23rd of April, and that's running for seven days. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Definitely. Do you have any other electricity pun you want to get in before we wrap this up? Are you done? Are you all? We've... we've we plugged that socket about as Definitely, much as we can. Yeah, yeah. we are ecstatic uh, <laughs> about the uh, positive reaction we may or may not get for, for Blackout. Yeah, looking forward to it. Sounds awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much for coming again. Uh, thank you. Jim and Paul, thank, Jimbo and Paul, sorry. Thank you very much for, for coming today. Yeah, Jimbo's going to stick. I hope the community picks up on that as well. Otherwise, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. <laughs> Sweet. It's brilliant. Thank you. Awesome. But And thank you, everyone, for showing up for State of the Game today. Uh, we'll be back soon. Maybe next week. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, we're closing in on 100, which is, is crazy. It's 98 today. So, uh, yeah, we're moving closer to 100. Let's see what happens during that episode. I'm um, going to take a quick uh, captain asking, will we get more loadouts by the next patch? Uh, no, no plans for that right now. Uh, Carl Badger, I hope we don't hear any more negatively charged comments from these guys. Well, oh, hey. that's, that's, that's actually Very good. Uh, Very good. a good one. Get on board. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much again, guys. Uh, I will see you. Anthony will be streaming tomorrow, 3 p.m. CES. No, it's not CEST. EST. Sorry, American time. Time zone is complicated. And uh, we'll be back very soon. Thank you again. Love you. Bye. Bye.